Right, in this little insert, I'm going to show you how to correctly use your glue pen. Some people struggle a little bit, but with some simple tips, you'll be able to get it right fairly easily. Right, with your glue pen, whenever you start, always take the lid off and make sure, and get into the habit of this, that you clear the old glue away from the pen tip. Because there's a residue of glue that you've left behind from the last time you used it. Just take your fingers and clear away the old glue. Then hold the pen upright, use your fingernail and push the ballpoint tip in. And what happens is then it will suck air back into the barrel and you won't get cramped when you use your pen. Then, Because obviously as you know you've got to squeeze the bubble in the middle as you write with these glue pens. Now those instructions are on the pen but often people don't bother to read it. Get into the habit of doing that because it makes life easier when you're writing with your pen. Now here I'm going to show you an example. You hold your pen almost upright then write your phrase. Okay, now you can't write as fast as you can with a conventional uh, ink pen. You've got to write a little slower and you'll notice that your, your lines will come out about a millimeter or so thick. So there we've got happy birthday, the phrase I've written there. Um, now at this stage this glue is very wet. You can't touch this, you can't apply foil to it. You must leave it to dry. That'll take 10 to 15 minutes to go completely clear. You'll know when it's ready because it'll go completely transparent. Right, so let's put that one side. And here's an example of when the glue is ready for the foil. Now at this stage, the glue has become very tacky. Now here's an example of one I did a little bit earlier on and you'll see the difference between the two. The one is very clear and the other one there on that side has still got blue and it's a bit gray. So it's still got water in it. That's got to evaporate. It's got to become clear like this before we can apply the foil. Right, now that explains about the glue. But if you're struggling using the pen, and here's a simple technique to practice. Take an A4 page and down the left hand side of the page, just take your pen and practice doing a series of dots right down the page from the top to the bottom. The idea is you want to see that when you actually make contact with the paper, you can produce a simple dot of uniform size. Now once you've got that right, you go back to the top of the page, do a dot and then draw to your right hand side. See if you can draw a consistent line of the same thickness right through. Once you've got that right, you know then that you're squeezing the pen correctly, the right pressure on the pen, and you're writing at the right speed. If you write very fast, you'll notice then that the glue comes out fairly thin, and if you write very slowly, the glue will then come out thick. Now, this, obviously the thicker glue will take longer to dry clear, but when you apply foil to that, it will have a slightly embossed feel to it. So that's the technique to practice using your pen correctly. Now getting back to the um, glue that we've got here. The nice thing about this glue on this card, or whatever it is you're doing on wood, whatever, the nice thing about the glue is once it has dried completely transparent, it then becomes very tacky, a tacky gel. And the beauty of this glue is that it doesn't dry out. If you left that overnight and came back tomorrow or even the next day, this glue would still be tacky. You could still apply the foil at that stage. Now don't worry about the glue once it turns into a tacky gel. Because once it is a gel, you can press as hard as you like with your foil. You're not going to damage that. And here's an example. Just take your foil, lay it over the top, and you press down nice and firmly like that. Okay? Pull the foil off and there you've got a beautiful design. If you miss a spot, just put your foil back on that spot, press down, pull it off, and there you have a really nice foiled card or whatever wooden product you're making, as you can see there. Now just to show you what happens here with this card, you can see it's, it's uh, let's call it 85% ready. But if I were to put the foil on here now and press down on that area there that's still got a bit of blue in it, let me show you what will happen. When you pull it off, it pulls all those bits of glue that are still wet off. 
So you're going to have that and then you will have to start all over again. So when you're using your glue pen, write slowly, get a nice constant line, wait for the glue to go completely clear before you apply the foil. That simple technique that I've just shown you there will enable you to do some really nice work using your glue pen. Thank you.